This is the Drio Space Heater, and my house is a little bit cold because it's the winter right now, and at the top floor it's pretty warm, but at the bottom floor it's kind of cold, so let's unbox this thing and see what it looks like. It's pretty, it's a hefty little thing here. So this is oscillating, so it's got a fan in it, which means it can go back and forth. Let's, uh, let's get, so I like the style of heaters that have a fan on them because I find the ones that don't have a fan really don't heat up your room all that well. And this is a pretty small one, uh, which in my experience, these little small fans can actually heat up a small room pretty decently. And I'm planning to put this in a room that's about 400 square feet. And one nice thing about this is it's got a removable filter in the back, so when you run it for, I guess, a couple months or something like that, you can take this out and clean it. And this is the filter right here. It's got a little mesh on it, so you should be able to just take this out and rinse it off when it gets a little bit dirty. So this is it. It's pretty basic. There's no remote. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no Bluetooth. There's no 5G, nothing like that. It's just a super basic heater. It's got some buttons on the top here, so let's plug it in and see how it heats. All right, so here it is. I've plugged it in. It's off right now, so it's got some buttons on the top. Let's turn it on. So it beeps, and I can see it's set to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is quite warm. You can hear it, uh, can hear it blowing there. So it should be able to turn the temperature down with these buttons here. And in fact, you can see the temperature going down. If you hold it down, it goes down pretty quickly. There it's set up to 75, and that's actually making quite a bit of heat. That's kind of nice. So let's turn on the oscillation now. Oh. There it goes. It goes side to side, back and forth. And this is actually blowing a lot of heat. This seems to be pretty effective. Let's turn the oscillation off. Okay, so it just stops in position. I guess if you want to get it back to the center, you need to hit it again and let it stop. There it is. And this is, is that a timer? That looks like a timer of some sort. Not quite sure what that button is. And it's also got an M button on here. That is M. I think that's for manual. Let's try that again. Oh, so you can go eco. You can go no display. It's just blowing air. And low. So those are the different settings. And it's definitely blowing a lot of heat. That's going to heat up the small room in very short order. So this is supposed to have some safety features. So apparently if it gets knocked over, it's going to turn off. Let's see if that actually works. Oh yeah. All right. I don't know what that P4 is, but it started beeping when it turned over. And the heat actually... That's... Actually, the heat stopped, so that's a good safety feature. It probably is going to turn off, so that's a nice little feature as well. Yep, there it turned off completely.